In this video, I'm going to show you a technique that I've used over the last few years with my fifth and sixth year students that should help you develop an understanding on any topic that you're studying in maths. So to explain the technique that I use, I'm going to show you an example. So the question is, explain how to calculate the angle BHF in a cube. Now, notice that it doesn't say calculate the angle BHF. It says explain how to calculate the angle BHF. So what I'm trying to get you to do is to critically analyze the question and put down in words how you would approach a question and what you would do to get the solution for the question, not to actually do it. So it gets you to think about the question a lot more and to make a plan for how you are going to attempt to solve the question. So there's a couple of rules. Uh, first one is you can't use any measurements in your explanation. And the second one is that you must give as much detail as possible. Just to show you the angle BHF in this is the angle from B top left, top back corner going down through the center of the cube to the front bottom corner at H and then back along the bottom face to F at the back of the cube. So it's this angle here. So I'm going to go through my solution for this and explain how I would calculate the angle BHF. And then afterwards, I'm going to give you a couple of examples. You can choose uh, either of them that you might do um, and you can explain how you would calculate the solution for that one. And you can leave your explanation in the comments below and then other people can read it and, and learn from it. OK, so this is my explanation on how to calculate the angle BHF in a cube. So to calculate the angle BHF, we need to we need the length of two sides in the right triangle BHF. If we know the length of the side of the cube, then we already know the length BF. We can then calculate the length FH. We calculate the length FH by looking at the right triangle EFH. That's this one down here, EFH. This is an isosceles triangle where EF and EH are the same length. We can then use the theorem of Pythagoras to calculate FH by saying FH squared is equal to EF squared plus EH squared. So then FH is the square root of EF squared plus EH squared. So now we've got FH, this length here. Now that we have the length FH, we can use tan of BHF. This angle is equal to BF over FH, which is the opposite over the adjacent. So then tan inverse of BF over FH will give the angle BFH. Now, if we didn't know the size of the length of the cube, we could just say that the length of the cube has a side of one. And then we could go ahead and use the same method as I laid out before. This was actually a question in a Leave Insert exam paper a couple of years ago. So now what I want you to do is to pick either of these two questions. So question one is explain how to cal calculate the size of the angle BHE in a cube. That's this angle down here from B down through the center of the cube to H and across the face, the front face of the cube to E. So it's that angle there. It's kind of tilted into the cube. Or if you want something completely different, then you can look at question two, explain how to solve for the unknown x in the third equation, the square root of 5x plus 1 plus the square root of x plus 1 is equal to 6. So have a go at either of them. You can write your explanation in the comments below and we'll see how you get on.